Hi everybody, Miss Betsy here from the Fabian School Garden. And today I welcome you to my kitchen and my home. We're gonna learn to make broccoli alfredo. I have the recipe right here. It's something we talked about making in Garden Club, but then, as you know, school was called off and we weren't able to do the projects that we were hoping to do in Garden Club. And I know that Robert particularly had been asking to make this recipe. I was hoping I could get my hands on some spaghetti squash as well to incorporate that into the recipe, but unfortunately, they're not right this time of year. So we're gonna stick to the broccoli alfredo. I'm in our school garden and I'm looking over in our broccoli section and did you notice what's right here next to me? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna harvest that broccoli and we'll use that in our recipe. There we go. Before I get going, I'm gonna make sure that I wash my hands. You're gonna need a few different ingredients for this project. You're going to need 16 ounces of dried pasta, two cups of chopped broccoli. I got this from the school garden. One clove of garlic, four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of flour, three cups of milk, one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, and one sprig of rosemary. If you don't have fresh rosemary, that's okay. You can take a pinch of dried rosemary and use that instead. You're going to need a knife and a cutting board and a guardian to make sure that you stay safe while you're doing this project. I'm going to go ahead and fill a pot up with water and get that pasta boiling while we work on our other ingredients. I'm putting that on my stove to boil. I'm going to boil the water completely, make sure that it's bubbling before I pour the pasta in. I'm going to go ahead and wash the veggies that we're going to use. You'll notice that this is what our school broccoli looks like that we grew in the school garden. And this is a head of broccoli that I found at the grocery store. Sometimes they grow a little differently because they have different growing conditions, or maybe they're a different variety of broccoli. Now that our produce is clean, let's go ahead and chop up the broccoli, chop the garlic, and grate our Parmesan cheese. You'll notice that while I'm chopping the broccoli, I'm actually holding it with what I call a little bear paw. That makes sure that my fingers aren't getting in the way of a knife. You can chop this broccoli up any way you want it. If you like smaller bites of broccoli, chop it smaller. If you like bigger bites, leave them big. When chopping garlic, you want to be extra careful. It's a really small piece of produce and it's easy to cut your fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little hard end off. Then I'm going to squish it, and that helps it break free of this little skin that we wanna remove. And now we're gonna grate our cheese. take my rosemary and take off the leaves, chop that up and put them in a little bowl to the side. If you have dried rosemary, you don't have to worry about this part. You're just going to take a pinch straight from the dried rosemary jar in your house. So now we're ready for our next step. Our water's boiling. I'm going to go ahead and put the noodles in. And I put them on a timer for six minutes. I like them a little bit al dente, meaning not too soft. You'll notice that I chose to cook with whole grain pasta. Now here's the deal. What is most of our pasta made out of? Wheat. And wheat is a little grain. In other words, a seed that grows on a grass-like plant. And when you eat sort of normal pasta, what they've done is they've taken the parts of that grain that are most nutritious and that give you the most energy away from it to make it a little more bland. In other words, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. When you eat whole grain pasta, it definitely tastes different. And I'll be honest with you, it took me a while to get used to it, but it's gonna give you way more power, way more energy, and way more nutrients. So that's why I'm cooking with whole grain pasta. And now we're going to turn a medium low heat on our burner, and we're gonna put our butter 
in a little frying pan or saucepan. And as that melts, I am going to add the garlic. our butter is melting, I'm going to measure out that four tablespoons of flour that we're going to need. One, two. So I added that flour to the butter and that's called making a roux. That's what's going to make that creamy sauce that we're making nice and thick. And I'm going to go ahead and stir that for three minutes while it cooks on a medium low heat. golden brown. So I'm going to turn both burners off. I'm going to take my noodles and drain them in the sink and then I'm going to come back and we'll keep making the sauce. Looks good. Now we're going to add three cups of milk to our roux and bring that to a gentle boil. To boil this cold milk, you might need to turn the heat up a little bit on your stove, but keep stirring it because it boils over fast. And you might want to use a whisk at this point like I've been doing to make sure everything blends really well together while you're cooking it. Now I'm going to take that amazing broccoli that we harvested from the school garden and I'm going to add that to our sauce and simmer it a few minutes. You'll notice those leaves are in there some parts of the broccoli stalk that it grows on. That's because the whole plant is edible. While I'm doing that, I'm also gonna add some seasoning. A little dash of salt, a little dash of pepper, and I'm gonna add that rosemary too. The timer went off. It looks like the broccoli seems cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off on the stove, take my cup of parm, and sprinkle that into my Alfredo sauce. One other thing you can do is give it a little taste. Careful, it's hot. To figure out if it needs more seasoning. I feel like mine needs a little bit more salt and pepper, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Now let's dish up and see how it tastes. <laughs> I'm seriously so excited about this, you guys. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Seriously, that's so amazing. Awesome job, everybody. It was wonderful to have you all be a part of my home today. You know how much I miss you so, 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 so much. And it's really fun to bring these videos to you. And I just hope everybody's doing well out there and know that I'm thinking about you and sending best wishes your way, especially to our eighth graders who are coming up on graduation. Now, before I let you go, I do wanna give you your garden challenge. I'm sure you can guess what it is. I'd like you to partner up with a guardian that you live with and make this together at home. Enjoy everybody. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.